Okay, children, let's continue with the writer, the song, and the singer. Okay, a writer is a person who uses written words in various styles and techniques to communicate their ideas. You know, that's what the writer does. He communicates ideas through writing, through the art of writing. That is how you're able to get your notebooks, you know, you get your textbooks. It's people that have written these things from ideas that they have within them and trying to communicate to you. So, writers produce various forms of literary art and creative writing, such as novels, short stories, poetry, plays, screenplays, even essays. When your teacher gives you an assignment to write an essay, you know you have to write. You have to put your ideas on paper. You have to put down your thoughts on paper by writing. So that makes you what? A writer. Alright. So, writer's texts are published across a range of various media. Writer's texts are published across a various range of media. We have skilled writers. We have people who write for fun. We have people who write because they want to get paid for it. Writers get paid for their works. You buy textbooks, don't you? Yes, you do. So there are people who write all those things out for you so that you can buy from them. You know, we have novels too. They sell novels out there short stories and all that so that's that on writers so writers can produce material across numbers of germs that is styles okay some writers may use images some may use drawings some may use um, graphics you know almost or multimedia to augment their writing creative writers are able to communicate their ideas even through music as well as words. So that's where songwriting also comes in. As a songwriter, you are able to communicate your ideas also to your audience via writing of songs. And we already established that songs are lyrics, songs are messages you know, that you are passing across to an audience. So as well as producing their own written works, Writers often write on how they write. They write on the process of, of how they write. In my book, uh, Melodies from Heaven, I was able to explain how I write. Sometimes I might be sleeping and then in a dream or when I wake up, I might just hear a melody in my voice, in my mind, you know, and then I put it into words and I begin to sing it. You know, so sometimes it happens like that. Sometimes you're just walking around and you're just walking, you're taking a stroll and then some words keep playing in your mind, playing in your mind and then before you know it, you have a tune to it and that becomes a song as well. You know, so there are some writers who write to tell you how they go about writing their songs. Sometimes I also go um, to a serene environment. You know what a serene environment is? A quiet place. A quiet place where I will not be disturbed. There I am able to also write songs, you know, and then so writers write about that too. So they also write to write about why they write. What is the motivation for writing? My motivation for writing is first and foremost to give God glory. That is why I want to write songs to give God glory, to praise God, to worship God. So what is your own motivation? For writing and also what motivates me to do that is people get blessed people enjoy listening to my music they get inspired when they listen to the music so that alone for me it motivates me when I see that somebody is happy listening to my music I like that I'm motivated to do to do more to write more songs you know so what motivates you as a songwriter also, they comment on other writers as they criticize other people's works. Yes, 
there are writers who do that, they criticize other people's works. Not necessarily because they, they want to paint them in a bad way or to, to tell them that their, their writings are bad, but in order to also improve on what they have done. And so also when, you, when you criticize, you also learn some things from what somebody else has written. That when you want to write your own, you now know, okay, when I want to write my own, this is what I'm going to add to it. Okay? So, it's very important to note all that. So, writers work professionally or non-professionally. We said that there are some skilled writers. That is, they, they are paid for doing that. So, some just do it for the fun of it and others are paid you know, to do that. So, there's Wale Shoinka, you know, who is a, a well-known writer. He has won several, several awards, written several poems and written several books. You know, so he is a writer. So the songwriter is one who owns the song. Unless he decides to sell it or give out permission to others to use it, this song primarily belongs to the songwriter. Because he possesses the debt of the song. The songwriter is the one who got inspiration to write the song. He's the one who was inspired to write that song. So he owns the debt of that song. He is, so to speak, the author. You've heard the word author before, haven't you? Yes. He is the author of a song and then he is also the originator. You can say originator in if you don't want to use the word author, you can use the originator. So that's that about that. So also we'll be going to the song. We will be doing the song. Yes, we said the song is defined by the message that is inherent in it. That is the song. So the lyrical disposition of every song that is defined as the message that is within the song. That is the lyrics in that song. So there is a saying in the music industry that it's all about the song. It's all about the lyrics. And you know one thing? Every song has a spirit. There are songs that you will play that will make you happy. There are other songs that you will play that will make you very sad. So every song has a spirit. So you have to determine the kind of song you want to be listening to. There are songs that bring encouragement to you. There are songs that dampen your spirit. There are songs that make you emotionally alive. So there are a lot of songs and they all have a spirit. Every song has a spirit. You know. So a message of hope is one that lifts up your spirit. A message of hope is one that encourages you. That's the kind of song we do at SWS. We do songs of hope. Songs of encouragement. Songs that take you from a very low place of where you're feeling sad, where you're feeling uh, uncomfortable, where you're feeling rejected, where you're feeling dejected, to a place where you have hope and where you, you are happy and you are encouraged. So there's a song um, by, by Michael Jackson. He says, Heal the world. Let me just read part of the, the, the lyrics to you. It says, there's a place in your heart, and I know that it is love. And this place could be much brighter than tomorrow. And if you really try, you'll find there's no need to cry. In this place, you feel there's no hurt or sorrow. There are ways to get there if you care enough for the living. Make a little space. Make a better place. Heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying. If you care enough for the living, make a better place for you and for me, and so on and so forth. It goes on to say, We cannot feel fear or dread, we stop existing and start living. Then he feels that always loves enough for us growing. So make a better world, make a better world. And the dream we were conceived in will relieve a joyful faith. And the world we once believed in will shine again in grace. 
then why do we keep strangling life? Wound this earth, crucify its soul, though it's plain to see, this world is heavenly. By be God's glow, we could fly so high, let our spirits never die. In my heart, I feel you all, my brothers, uh -huh. my sisters. Create a world with no fear. Together, we'll cry happy tears. See the nations turn their swords. You know, so and on and on and on like that. This song is a happy song. This is a song that encourages you to make the life that we're living it worth living. To make this world a better place for others. You need to be caring. Show love to others. Do you know during this pandemic a lot of things have happened? A lot of people have lost their lives. Families are grieving and mourning over loved ones. You know, you can encourage somebody. You can tell that person, don't worry, everything will be alright. You might not know when it will be alright, but just for you to be there to encourage that person is enough. Okay? If you have a friend who does not have food to eat, don't even know where the next food is going to come from, you know, that kind of friend, you can encourage that person by sharing your little biscuits with him, you could share your little sweets with him, share your bread with him, and you'll see, he will be very happy, you know, and he will be the better for it. That means you have encouraged somebody, alright? Okay, so now we're talking about something else in songs. We talk about genre, genre of songs. The right genre of song will aid its interpretation both by the singer and the listener. Do you understand that? Genre can, let me just say, genre for, for your level is just a style of singing, a style of songs. We have various styles. You know, we have the hip hop.